Hey everyone, welcome back to Demon Souls. Uh, let's just make sure everything is set up and recording. It is cool. Yeah, other thing I have to talk to you and apologize for is the audio issues that have been happening uh, in the last two videos, or I mean just the last video, uh, where the audio was like really dropped, like they were like it was slowed down. Super strange. I don't actually know what was causing it because there was nothing with the settings uh, either on the console on my pc during editing whatever but now i deactivated my audio device and re-enabled it and that seemed to have solved the problem so that's pretty good here's what we're gonna do we're going to move back to our standard set the one we had and I think we have, yeah, we have 26,000 souls. So I'm gonna deposit my shit and we can move on to... I'll keep these boots because these boots look pretty good. Um, hmm. Let's see if we can yeah, repair all our, sh our shit and upgrade. I don't think we can upgrade. Actually, we're only missing sharp stone, so I am going to go ahead and purchase some. I'd be stupid not to upgrade my weapon again. The rest of the levels, I mean, the rest of the souls will go into leveling. Uh, and area-wise, I think we are going to try to tackle Shrine of Storms 2 again. And we don't need 53 we had eight should be enough i mean after a while we're getting into the part of the game where uh we're getting to the sort of higher soul level areas where enemies drop a lot of souls so really the farming and all that is not going to be an issue strange that sharp stone is apparently the most difficult one to get i mean the standard shards and okay we need one more chunk see the chunks are difficult to get so it's probably going to take a while i'm going pure vitality i feel like i'm generally okay on my other stats the only one i'm not feeling so confident on is my hp <clears throat> excuse me so we're going to the ritual path this area uh I've talked about this place, right? This is hard area, easy boss, which is pretty standard for this game. Fuck, I'm not okay with healing items. Whatever, what we're gonna do is we will... This guy sells a bit more expensive than Patches does, but I'm too lazy to go back, even with PS5 load times, so I think we're just gonna sort of live with that. Cool. So yeah, we didn't really get too far. Let me just check if I have the right rings. Thief ring and... Mm, that's the thing about this game. The ring sort of... Well, go clever rat. Sort of the ring, I don't know, selection throughout the game is not the best, to say the least. And I probably should have switched out. Whatever. Perry God. I'm a Perry God, but not a not a repost God. Apparently, reposting is not my strength. Come on. Fuck. So anyways, this area should be a little bit easier with more HP and a stronger weapon. The issue was that I was just not dealing any damage to these guys. What the fuck is this? Oh, it's black pine resin. Cool, whatever. And yeah, these guys... 
prepare for these guys because they are all over the fucking place in this area. Usually in pairs. Usually being very annoying. They have poise. Sometimes. It's one of the little quirks of this game. The randomly enemies have poise. Type beat. God, the range of this weapon sucks. That's the only reason I'm regretting picking this thing. The range is absolutely god awful on it. Fuck. Don't worry, we got this. You just have to be <clears throat> a little bit patient. Patience is a virtue or whatever. Eat shit, bitches. At least they give fucking good. Um. Heals, not the heals, what am I talking about? Good items. I got two blade stone shards out of that, which is probably the most infamous of the upgrade materials in this game. Blade stone is like notoriously difficult to get and farm for. So yeah, it's it's just okay, that looks better than it used to. So the thing is, this laser was a nightmare to avoid uh, in the vanilla version, mainly because of the visuals. I mean, this is... you might think that it is goofy that like a ghost dragon or something is firing off a giant death star beam, but I knew it. I was just about to fucking say it. I was just about to fucking say it. I thought he was coming from the other end. Not like that. Um. Okay. So yeah, you might think that this is a weird look. But believe me, it's mad better than... What it used to be. Which is... Uh, there, that That's a trap. I know for a fact that that's a trap. And what it used to be is like some weird shadows who would fire off a giant laser with a weird ass hitbox and that you just couldn't avoid so I'll, I'll take this I'll take this this looks way better I'll take Death Star laser beams any day of the week bruh it's three hits too which is pretty good Cool, whatever. Anyways, you come in here. This is where the little... The main man is. I think that's actually the last one you gotta fight. This is also not a very lengthy area if you know what you're doing. It just comes from the... The difficulty comes from the fact that enemies are almost impossible to skip. Fuck, we're here already? Okay. They renamed it. Of course they did. Of course they did. Listen. Even though this game is rated 18, this was the kinkiest item in the entire game. Obviously, it's just slug slime. Don't think anything bad of it. Don't even think about it. Yeah, and that should explode. Man, this, this place looks so good. Again, I've talked about this before. That the advantage of like such a remaster is you get to see what they were going for. Anyways, I'm not going to spend a lot of time here because... This area is if you want to farm Moonstone. If that's the thing you're going for. If that's your weapon infusion. Uh, you gotta spend time here. Okay. I think we are okay in terms of... Yeah, we'll go with the, 
man that icon that icon anyways this is the old hero a very cheesable boss man he looks so cool he looks so much better holy fuck Xerxes I've seen 300 I've seen how this goes I had that effect on all the characters in the last video that's how thoughtful I am of the Xerxes reference that's how committed I am to it But this is the old hero. Oh, gross! Don't put jizz on your weapon. So his little kind of gimmick is that he is blind. He's completely blind. So, he swings around like an idiot most of the time. Looking for you. The sort of offset of that... ...is that if he hits you, he deals absolutely insane damage. Like one-shot quality damage. The sort of disadvantage he has is the thieves ring uh, which is one of the easiest rings in the game to get and one that completely muffles the sound you make or your footsteps make so this poor guy sort of has always suffered because the gimmick is cool the idea of this boss is really cool uh, the unfortunate thing is that he just, again, gets annihilated by one of the most useful items in the game. An item that everybody uses. Because as I said, the, the idea and the mechanics for him are super cool. Especially here, I love his looks. But you can just kind of be an asshole, you know, pick away at him, walk out of distance, and if you don't like run or anything, don't make a lot of noise. Like, all logic applies. If, you were, if you're wearing heavier armor, he'll find you easier. Uh, but Thieves Ring in general... ...completely trivializes him. Sorry, old hero. You have been suffering non-stop since this game came out in 2009. Just how it is. Holy arrows. That's new, isn't it? There were no holy arrows in this game before. Cool. Before we do anything stupid, because I want to go there. But you guys know that in this game anything can happen. I'm gonna spend my souls. Where's she at? There she is. So let's go for a bit more HP. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. This is pretty much gonna be my go-to from here on out. The other thing we need to do is reattune our proper magic spell. Now that we're going to need this for where we're going, <clears throat> but we might as well. I think let's take out an Arch Demon. We have been going for 14 minutes. Man, that was a short area. I remember this area being a lot more of a pain in the ass. We are dealing with the Demon Souls God, so... You know, it's just like... What can you do? Now, this is what I'm interested in. He's cool. 
Looks like Sim from Final Fantasy X. He has like one weird eye. So yeah, this is the King of Storms, Mr. Cthulhu. Yeah, we have Mr. Cthulhu here. Um, who's gonna get a beating, unfortunately. This is gonna have a bad time. That attack looks so much better than it used to. I mean, I know I'm saying that for everything. But, you know, what what else can I say? Oh, hey, that dealt more damage than I was expecting. Bruh. Bruh, bruh, bruh. There it is. Oh, that's a crystal lizard. Fuck, there are crystal lizards here. Give me that shit. I got the pure one. Uh, cheating. Oh, come on. Where the fuck is it? There it is. We have it. This is a bit chaotic. Blast this bitch. So, yeah. You guys know. Even people who have played Dark Souls 3 know what's going down here. If you're wondering where that reference came from, it came from this game. Except, thematically, it just makes a lot more sense in this game because of where we are and who these guys are instead of fucking taking out a giant with the Storm Ruler. But hey, I ain't gonna judge. It's a pretty cool moment in Dark Souls 3 as well, even though Yorm is unfortunately somehow the worst of both the old hero and the... There it is, the big boy. Oh, come on. So the big boy has like, he's like a fucking Star Destroyer. He has several weak points. Um, and he comes blasting if you're not careful. I gotta figure out where you get back upstairs. If there is such a thing as upstairs. So yeah, I don't know. It's a cool moment that they included it, this in Dark Souls 3. But again, in general, I'd say that thematically, this just makes a lot more sense, you know. I love the noise he makes. He's about to kill me. Come on, lock on. If you spam hard, you can get a couple of shots in. Like that. Just gotta be careful of his attack, because it's always been like this. It's very difficult to see what exactly he's doing. In fact, I'm gonna safety heal up to full. He kind of does something, but it's like, what the fuck? Oh, come on. Why didn't that count? Kind of feel sorry for this thing. It's just kind of like a weird... Um, I mean, you're killing a rare animal. Like, this is not Sekiro. You shouldn't be doing this. Because Sekiro is doing it, that's Sekiro, you know. That man is messed up. Goodbye. No. no. Oh, fuck. How much damage does that deal? Shit. Oh, come on, bruh. No, he's dead. I thought he had like a fraction of his HP left. So that's the Storm King for you, people. Very, very, very cool. Always been very cool. Let's just, you know, pick ourselves up here. Luckily, there is no jump in this game. So you can, like, yeet yourself off the cliff by accident, as I tend to do in any other Souls game. But this is a cool place. We're just getting wet as hell. 
uh, it definitely did not look this good. So you might be asking, what's the deal with this Storm Ruler? It seems pretty OP. Well, the deal, people, is that it doesn't do jack shit outside of this area. However, I do remember it being a good troll weapon. Didn't people used to troll with uh, Storm Ruler? Because there is something with it, like the fact that it needs 0-0 zero, zero stats, like strength dex. If I remember correctly, it makes it like a good weapon for magicians. Nexial Agent. What is that? So yeah, what this means is that now we can go to Boletaria 3. Yeah, and I, I, don't, I don't ever read these. I should. Oh, okay, that's what's going on. The adjudicator bestows tokens of heroism upon the deserving dead who are delivered by Shadow Man to the depth of the Shrine of Storms where they are cleansed by bright water and mourned by the storm. The hero's remains were cleansed with bright water and offered to the Storm King, a beacon for countless storm beasts whose broad wings blacken the sky. Perhaps this demon, a flying beast resembling a gigantic stingray, is a manifestation of the thoughts and feelings of the Shadow Man who worshipped it centuries ago. Interesting. I, I need to read these. I need to read these because Demon Souls has always been lighter on the area lore. And that, my friends, is pretty cool. <clears throat> so we have 62k souls. Which means we need we can get a lot of power. Uh, see, the issue is this thing doesn't really scale off of... It doesn't really scale off of any stat. But I'm guessing it can. I'm gonna try to like... Mm, no. So we can't get that many. Okay, I'll get to 20 strength. Because why not? And 20 endurance as well. At this point, where we are at this stage of the game, uh, none of this really matters. Ah, she's creepy. Oh, like a tiny little treasure chest. Umbasa. Yeah, I got your little saint back. You better be appreciative. Bro, you need to change barbers. That shit isn't fire at all. That is not fire at all. Thanks to you, I was able to seek refuge in this nexus. Now I stay here and pray, along with my disciples, for the if you wish for benevolent protection in your fight against the demons. So he's obviously the advanced uh, miracle trainer. He has some pretty cool ones. I do like that. Oh, nice. It shows a little. That's super cool. That it shows like a little what it does type deal. I like it. I like it. Because sometimes it is a guessing game um, as to what some of these spells do. If you're not very familiar with the magic system of the game. Alright, let's deposit. I'm surprised I'm not overburdened. And we also need to visit Pacho. He does sell Late Moon. I'll, I'll buy Late Moon from him. Cool. We gotta figure out where to go now. Uh, we could do the Dragon. And that's a pretty good... Well, I'm pretty good, I say lightly. That's a good boss fight, quick one to knock out. Boletaria 3-3, there's a lot of good shit there. However, I think we'll need to tackle either this or that area, which are both 
um, less desirable, you know. However, if we're here, let's knock this out of the park. There's a chance this is gonna end with me dead. A pretty good chance. Because the dragon is unstable, to say the least. Oh, I never noticed that this was a... It's metal as hell. I feel like I'm walking into a... I don't know, Slayer album cover. This is a nice little tunnel. I'm sure nothing bad is gonna happen here. There's no chance of that. We got a nice amount of bong smoke coming off of us. Oh yeah, we have the dragon god. Hide, bitch. This boss sucks. Uh, that's that's the only thing I can say. You might be wondering why I say that. I say that because this is a fucking stealth fight. And that happens. This boss is fucking awful. Uh, so Souls has had a lot of things throughout the years. It has had gimmick boss fights, platforming boss fights, and all that. This is the only game outside of Sekiro where the mechanics actually work. This is the only game that has ever had a stealth boss fight. And believe me, there is a reason for that. There's a reason the both the platforming boss and the stealth boss were a one and done deal for From. Because this guy is fucking horrible. The issue is that you can never tell where exactly he's looking. It still deals damage. The idea would be he is looking left and right. And what you're meant to do is wait for him to turn away. Wait for him to turn away. But he has always, always fucking managed to spot me like that. So this boss fight, what it kind of always amounts to, is a little bit of a crapshoot. Is he gonna notice you? Who the hell knows? Is he going to kill you? Who the hell knows, honestly. Anyways, we're gonna kill him. How does he have fists? Like, proper fists. He's weird. Like... This is like the most Doom enemy that's ever been put in the Souls game. And this is the place where it gets really, really annoying. The second phase... Because, like, is he look looking at you? Now he is. Still turned away, I think. I'm genuinely not sure occasionally. Okay, get the fuck out. What the hell? He didn't used to do that, did he? Maybe he did. Please don't tell me notice me again. No, he did not.
This boss fight, I swear. Sometimes you just gotta go for it. I'm going for it. I'm gonna get flamed. I think we're good. I think we did it. Crystal Lizard. Sorry, Dragon God. Naisu. Naisu, Naisu, Naisu. That was not as difficult as I was expecting. Still difficult, but... We've done worse. I don't know how those two tiny ass, like... Little spears take down this thing. But hey. I do feel sorry for him. Here we're being kind of a dick. As we've been many a times, and just you wait until you see what happens. But think of it, you're kind of putting this guy out of his misery, if you know the lore. Uh, he was kind of trapped by... I don't know how. He was trapped by these assholes. And... He just wasn't having a good time. We're gonna be way more dickish later on. Don't... don't... <laughs> Jesus. Don't you worry about that. The underground chain was so constructed both to worship and imprison the dragon god. The miners' ancestors were inspired to faith by the great dragon bones Pay their respects by maintaining the shrine with great care. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. 32 minutes. This is like the most efficient Demon Souls episode ever. I'm going to go ahead and with this final boss down, three bosses down in one video and two areas completed. Uh, yeah, this game kind of steamrolls after a while. It just kind of kicks into high gear and you just keep going. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode here. I want to thank you guys very much for watching this episode of Demon Souls. As always, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will catch all of you next time. Take care, peace out, and goodbye.